hello lads and ladies and welcome back for another video on the channel today is Fleetwood Town against Crew. Crew, they've started quite well actually, you know, lost the first couple of games and then lost heavily to Chesterfield at home. What followed was a decent run of results. They played Swindon the game after that Chesterfield game. And it was a drab nil-nil draw, but Swindon got battered the week before as well. So probably a good point for both. And that kick started a good result. They went away at Arkenton, you know, 1-1-0. One, one, Williams gets a goal and Cooney gets assist. Uh, Cooney I'm a big fan of. He got promoted with more come in in 2020, 2021. If you are new to the channel, please give us a like. Please subscribe. Can we go? We hit over 300 likes the other day. We're going to go for 200 likes Tuesday night, slightly less. So if you could give us a like, that'd be appreciated. And also subscribe, we are so close now to 16,000 subscribers, it's free to do so. We upload League One live shows on a Sunday night, League Two lives on a Monday night. So if you are new to that, everything in detail about those two divisions on those two days and the fleet with vlogs and other League One and League Two content as well. It's your place to be for lower league football. Subscribe down below, enjoy the rest of the video. So 16 points from 10 games, four wins, four draws, two defeats, 16 points, good start, I, I honestly believe that. We've lost two games, away at Port Vale, away at Wimbledon. Wimbledon are a very good side on their own patch, good forward areas, very physical, same for Port Vale as well. You know, Anyone who finishes above Port Vale will win the league, I've said that openly, and I think Wimbledon will be in the playoffs, I really do. The four wins have been good wins, away at Carlisle, away at Cheltenham, away at Walsall. You know, you look there, we've scored I think 11 goals in, in those three games as well. Lee Bell's a fantastic manager, I watched him at Wembley you know, last, you know, last season, where he unfortunately lost out to, to Crawley and never really turned up in that game. They lost a couple of big players, look at Offord and, and Nevitt left, but they brought in a couple of loanees. Some of them are on the first loans, big loans in the Football League being as well. So it's going to be a tough test. They're similar to us. They want them to play the right way. They like playing out from the back. We have three centre-halves available at the Football Club at the moment that were in the first team the other day. Young Caden Hughes' eight team. Just two, three weeks ago, he scored a brace away at Warsaw in a game that we won 6-2. He maybe made a mistake the other day. Harrington maybe made a mistake the other day, but support them. The young footballers, they're in the first proper full seasons with the football club. You know, support them when we win, but get behind them when we don't win as well would be my message as well. They are without Lancaster, who was very good for Cambridge and uh, was decent at Ipswich at times as well. So tough test, looking forward to it. And uh, Tuesday night games, I do love. Night games under the likes at Highbury are really good. However, we've not won in our last five at Highbury. However, we've only lost lost one in five at night time that was Bolton back in December so it's not all bad but I'd love a win under the lights tonight we've actually only won one of our four games this season at home we've drawn three so if we win tonight you're unbeaten in five if you lose tonight we've not won in four since the opening day so a big game under for us tonight if we can get that win I'll be absolutely buzzing a point I realistically would like three, but if we got a point out and beat Newport and then beat Salford, it's a good week. Congratulations to uh, Brendan Wiridu, um, who makes his 100th appearance tonight, as does Carl Johnson as well. They've been good servants for the football club. A manager now that's in place, Charlie Adam, that's implementing a new style with young players, you know, progressing them as well. And I feel, you know, happy with him. He's, you know, really turned my opinion over on him in the last nine months from the way he speaks. I think he's really matured and grown into the role. And we've got an owner now that no off the field issues, no players that don't want to be here. I don't think he's currently playing. So that's really good. So there's been a lot of good stuff going on at this football club in the last three to six months. When you look at Nate's back three, Finley Park played his first league game from the start. Mark Helm in the press today has been unbelievable. You can see he's very you know, energised after his kind of time out the team. He's come off the bench, don't get me wrong, but you can see he's had a bit, a bit of a spark. First half that I think we've dominated. We've had a couple of good chances, a few steps in the box, we've worked the ball well. Second half, a big second half, we had eight shots to their two. And 
you know, expected goals are very similar. We've not really threatened their goal. We've had a couple of efforts through CJ. Graydon's got in a couple of times. But we've not really felt like, oh, it's a great chance. Dead, dead, dead. possession. Gillingham, we didn't do enough with our possession. Bromley, I thought they were second best, you know. Morecambe were brilliant. There's a second half we switched off. There's a mentality there. Get on with it, you wanker! I mentioned before, in 60 minutes, good away performance. And in every bit of momentum we had, not enough really, they stopped the play or gone down or bought a bit of time and stopped our momentum and they, they kind of fizzled that out in the last 20 minutes and they've done really well. You have to come away to these grounds, go open ground, small stadiums, you know, choose your nights away in League 2 and do the basics, be a good League 2 side, win headers, you know, keep us out when we've got momentum, don't let positive go into the box, don't let the service our front and they've done that very well. They just do the basics so well, they've been at this level for three years now mid-table playoffs last year. You know, they were good in late moments, especially when they went behind last year. 21 points, I think it was, from losing positions. Just win fouls, stop the momentum, get the crowd frustrated, come away, and got a 1-0 lead. Oh, Lee We've been desperate, and we rely on that first 20, 25 minutes a lot. It goes right for us, we are brilliant. So it's Shelton, Carlisle, you know, things we've got positive results from scoring early on. We don't, we head loss a little bit. We've got to be patient, we've got to stick in game. Things might not go well, that's what crew have done. Things didn't go well for them, they stuck in the game. They never locked the ball, they knew that. And found a way to win. Sometimes you just got to admit a team has come to your ground and your stamping ground, done a job on you, defended really well, kept a clean sheet, 
you know, protected the goal, gone out to your, your, your strengths, your fullback areas, your strikers, kept them quiet and won the game. Fair, fair play to them. Two to beat team two. How do this group respond now? The keeper's given it fair play to them. They've come away, won one nil. Full credit. They stuck in that game. It wasn't vintage, it wasn't a great watch. And that's what you get in League Two. You, it, that element of battling, of sticking in the game, not getting frustrated, being patient. And it's not dropping towards at the minute, but it's about how you stay in it, how you stay mentality stick strong. And they stuck in that game for large periods and they've won it. It's disappointing, but fair play to our to the visitors. They've come and done the job and the full credit to the great ball and the fans there made a good noise. Callum on the drum there, fair play to you. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. On to Newport the weekend. Can't wait for it now. Frustrating. Drop a like on your way out. Subscribe if you do. On to Saturday. Got to respond now. What's this team made of? Injuries, the law, sent halves out. You know, makes it back three today. Got to, got to switch on and get back to the way. 